Amado Guloy, a scientist and entrepreneur, is part of a grassroots network of organizers planning the nationwide March for Science on April 22nd. The goals are clear. To remind the public that science is here for public good. Another mission that we have is that we hope that our policymakers, our, our political leaders, will be making evidence-based public policy. President Trump's pick for head of the EPA is unwilling to concede what 97% of scientists agree, that climate change is primarily caused by human activities. I believe the ability to measure with precision the degree of human activities impact on the climate is subject to more debate. And his secretary of state, who would be responsible for pursuing climate agreements with the rest of the world, is a bit firmer on the causes of climate change, but seems unconvinced about the consequences. The increase in the greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere are having an effect. Our ability to predict that effect is very limited. That's why Galois and his peers plan to march. Doesn't it risk dragging science into being sort of a, a political position to create a, a, a street demonstration about it? While a march in and of itself is a political act, science is not to be politicized. It's, it, on some level, it's too late. So we're taking the stance of we're going to make it as bipartisan or nonpartisan as possible. Inexpensive energy. Even Lamar that Smith, head of the House Science Committee, committee has led several attempts to roll back what scientists have been trying to tell the public for years. He sponsored one bill that would have forbidden scientists receiving federal funding you from testifying before your Congress your about their own the work. The Statements by President Obama and others continually attempt to link extreme weather events to climate change. These claims are, of course, unfounded. On April 22nd, Guloy hopes the country will listen to its scientists rather than to its politicians. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, San Francisco.